Hello. Hi. Um, so let's start off. I mean, obviously, this wonderful story is a many incarnations. I mean, how would you describe this one, this particular Snow White? Um, I feel I, I I read Brothers Grimm in my when I became a young adult, and so I found it later in my life, and I found them to be incredibly dark stories, and so it was shocking for me to kind of discover them that time in my life and realize what I had come to know was we've kind of watered watered the the story down, and I think we've gone back to maybe some of those original ideas behind the story and thematically. Um, stay true to what I think their intent was, but brought it back to a, a, a more darker tone, and so that was, I, I, I had no problem with that. I, I like that stuff. Yeah, me too. I agree. Um, and then, so um, you were one of the first people cast. So can you tell me what it is, you know, what it was? Sorry, I mean, um, about the project that particularly made you go young. You know, I think it was a mixture of uh, a very iconic story, very iconic character, and um, an attempt to retell that in a way that 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 the challenge was how do you take that, turn it on its head a little bit so that people can enjoy it and it doesn't feel like a regurgitated story. It feels like, uh, and also I think the potential that the story had, I think all of us felt like the story lend itself to that kind of exploration. And if it didn't, I don't think, I don't think any of us would want to kind of tell the story that everybody just knows. So it was just kind of, being fascinated by how much you could explore thematically with the story. And then obviously the visual of it is, I've never been a part of anything visually this extravagant and amazing and fantastical and the special effects on this and the set pieces and how epic and big in scale this is. Like all of that for me was um, a huge plus. I was like, you want me to come and be in a ca my, my own castle? Sure. <laughs> Yeah, let's talk about Yorovina. I love her. She's so amazing. Um, and it's, I think it's the only time I've ever watched a, a, a version of Snow White where I felt sorry for the queen, mm. actually. And she's, you know, it's not her fault. She is manipulating you. <laughs> Do not. She will eat your small child and pets. Do not fall for it. She, she was very... I don't think I would have wanted to play her if she... If I didn't feel like we could ground her in some reality, and 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 Rupert was really, really, um, he was obsessed with that, and and so I, I was very excited to do that with him, that work with him, because I, I work like that, and I'm really driven by, you know, if it doesn't make sense to me, I don't know how to play it, and so we we had to almost work backwards in order to kind of discover why she was, the queen that we've kind of come to know, over th these centuries, and. Um, building that backstory for her and stripping away at all of the menacing attributes and coming back to that little girl that was taken away from her mother at age eight and, and given to a king to be a wife and then by age 11 she was too old for him and she was replaced. I mean, that informs you a lot about how someone would be thinking and what they would do in order to survive in their life. That, and they might not turn out to be the healthiest person. <laughs> so I think it's finding that the the human in there and, and I think that's what people are are maybe being moved by I, I don't know it's your extraordinary talent yeah. um, let's talk a bit about um, your Snow White about Kristen a bit and playing opposite her and you know. she's amazing um, she's just great she's she's incredibly talented and um, you know, I, I just, I love her tenacity. She comes to work and she's really excited to be there. And that to me says, this is someone who really truly loves her job and wants to push the envelope and wants to stretch it and pull it and, and is willing to do that. And um, I, I, I love how absolutely focused she is on the stuff that matters and not on the stuff that doesn't. And so, you know, she's, she's a nice girl to be around. She's refreshing. Yeah. It's great, it's a great costume. Um, and then um, finally, before I move on to Facebook, I just wanted to talk about those amazing costumes. Yeah, <laughs> the whole look, everybody that created that look with me just worked so hard and did such a great job. The whole hair and makeup team, and and uh, of course, Colleen with, with the costumes, and the set pieces, the set design, and everything was incredibly helpful to me um, to play this, this character. And, yeah, once you have that hair done and that makeup done and you put that costume on, it's, it's impossible not to almost uh, embody that character. 
Yeah, because a lot because it wasn't green screen very much. It was more in camera, wasn't it, and on locations yeah, and moments. Yeah, yeah moments. moments but screen. but a lot of it was tangible and right there. Which is probably helpful. Yeah. Um, okay.